Good morning. I've got Jeremiah here helping me with the baby birds. Hey, Jeremiah. Hello. Um, we're going to get them fed. I've got uh, some little bitty ones. Do you want to get me those little... Well, I need all of them. I have some little, tiny, tiny green cheek conyers that... Uh, well, this little one hatched from an egg in my incubator. A friend has these, uh, and the parents refuse to feed them. And so he asked me if I would help, and that's too big. Let's use this tiny little 1cc pipette. Come on. I've been feeding these since they were about the size of my thumbnail. No matter, your lorikeets are hungry this morning. They're making all kinds of noise. Um, but he brought me the little baby to the, they, they, the, the first baby that hatched, the parents didn't feed it, and they didn't feed it, and it didn't make it. The second one hatched, and they didn't feed it. So he brought me the second baby that had hatched, and the little egg that this guy hatched out of. And I've been hand feeding them since they were, you know, tiny, tiny little things. But here's the bigger of the two. And he'll take them back home with him soon to finish hand feeding. They are just two weeks old. Hey, baby, I know. Here. Here, you want to go ahead and get me that other tub of babies while I'm finishing this up, Jeremiah? Thank you. At least I think I can. I think you can. If you both are smart enough, I could them. Yes, you are very concerning, believe me. I know this. Why are you stating the obvious? Well, that's kind of what I do. Yeah. Okay, here, have one more drop of it. I'm no longer waking up in the middle of the night to feed these. They're, they're sleeping through the night. But look how tiny that is. Okay, um. Uh, how about a ring neck? You want to feed a ring neck? No, but I'm sorry, you look like to. I asked Jeremiah the other day if he knew how to feed baby birds, and he said in theory, but not in practice. Yeah. You've never done it, have you? No. Here. Don't know if I have a farm I'm doing it. Hey, this is a double factor violet. It inherited a violet from uh, a violet gene from both parents. That's why I said it's double factor. I might possibly have mixed this formula up really thick this morning. Yeah. But that's okay. All right, here is just a typical blue Indian ring neck. Come on, baby. Yeah. You want some breakfast? Oh, you want some breakfast? There we go. Look at that. Here, I'll pop back for you. And I have some little ring necks from a different clutch. Hey. And these, they can be violet or blue or turquoise or violet turquoise. Um, I thought that the dad would split the pattern, uh, and he may be. Uh, I, I would have to catch him and check his band and compare records to determine that for sure, and I'm not going to do that, uh, at least not right now. But if he were split to pallid, then half of all the daughters that he produces would be pallid. And that's that pale color that I like so much. And so far, none of these three are pallid. But that's okay. They can still be violet or blue or turquoise or turquoise violet. You come back over here. Here, right there. 
The dad is really young. He doesn't even have his ring yet. This is just his second year to be alive, and I didn't think that he would even produce fertile eggs, but amazingly surprised, he has. I didn't think mouse laid eggs. Okay, his wife has produced fertile eggs. Okay, so let's put these back in the brooder box, and we have one more baby. Jeremiah, you are something else. You know that? You're just a nut. Look at that. Beautiful little birds. Come on. Here is the blue. And here is the violet. Now, most of these are already reserved and I have a waiting list. Uh, if you want to be put on a waiting list for a baby ring neck, um, if you live in Central Alabama and you're able to pick it up, then send me an email on Facebook. Links are down in the description. Now, that's not a ring neck, is it, Jeremiah? No, to me it looks like a cockatiel. It is a cockatiel. It is. Cockatiels are the smallest of all cockatoos. Did you know that, Jeremiah? Uh, maybe. Maybe. I don't now, Jeremiah likes cockatoos. He has a pet cockatoo named Fred. This is a little gray, typical gray, but a white face cockatoo. White face meaning it doesn't have the orange cheek on him. Uh, his dad uh, does have an orange cheek. And he's cinnamon. And he must be split the white face. And the mother is a gray white face. Because the dad is visually cinnamon, that is a sex link mutation. All of his daughters would be cinnamon. This one's not cinnamon, so what do we know about this? It's a boy. It's a boy. That's right. So that's it, folks. Thank you so much for watching. Um, if you haven't already, please be sure to subscribe. I really would appreciate it. Check out the links down in the description. Uh, find us on Facebook, Instagram, all those other social media things. I've got them all. Um... And if you buy anything from Amazon, use our associate link. I really would appreciate it. We earn about a 3% commission at no extra cost to you. And it really does add up and helps a whole lot to support the work that we do to, to raise these, these little birds. So, thank you for watching. God bless you. I love you. Bye-bye. You were supposed to say bye. Uh, say bye. Bye.